I'm Tara and today I'm here to show you a full body application using the Famous Dave Small Batch Reserve Tanning Mousse. This tanning mousse has a built in color guide so you will see during the application just how I put it on and I will give you some tips and tricks along the way so you can achieve your flawless tan. I like to work my way from the bottom up so let's go ahead and get started with the feet. Okay, so we're going to get started with our foot, and typically I've already washed and exfoliated my body before application. And then before I went, go to put the tanner on, I like to use a barrier lotion, and this just helps so that the tanner doesn't soak into any dry areas of our feet since they are kind of a dry area on the body. So I just grab some of the barrier lotion and rub it onto my feet so that it has a nice smooth application and there's no darker pigmentation in areas because around our toes and our ankles are really dry and the tanner will cling to those areas and accentuate. So you just really want to have that skin nice and moisturized and you just rub that right in all the way up onto the ankles and around on the back of the Achilles tendon too because that has all those creases in it and you really don't want the tanner to get built up in those areas. So you just want to create that barrier and the tanner will still soak through nicely and it will give you a nice even tan. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my mitt for this application. So I have my hand in there and I'm going to grab half of a pump from my tanner. So about this much and I'm going to go ahead and put it right on the top of my foot and then work from that center out. So I'm going to start going in a circular motion and you can see exactly where the tanner goes. And then I'm just going to build from there around. So you just want to go where the sun would naturally hit your foot and get tan. And you can sweep any of the excess upwards onto your calf because you're going to, you know, tan that area anyway. So once you get that going on the top of your foot, that, that's when you can start to go down on your toes. And you want to make sure you go in between each toe as well so that there's no white in between the toes so it looks nice and natural. And then you want to grab just a tad more. Grab about a quarter of a pump. And the pump allows you to choose about how much you'll need. And then just place that on the top of your foot again. And then this way you can just work from the center and work around. So then I'm going to go around to my ankle and gently go over that, not applying too much. And then I just do a nice line where the tan would naturally be. And I do that on either side of the foot. And just gently sweep over the ankles, not applying too much. And then you can just basically go over that again just to make sure it's nice and evenly on once the product has, you know, kind of gotten off the mitt. Next we'll be moving on to legs. Okay, before we start with the legs, I like to apply the barrier lotion again to my knees because that's another dry area of our bodies that we really don't want a darker pigmentation with the tanner to cling to. So I go ahead and put some right on the kneecap and below the knee is where it's going to be, you know, the driest of areas. So I go ahead and get that area nice and moisturized before applying the tanner. And I just let that soak in as well. And you can go behind your knee as well. Just get that area nice and moisturized. And if you would like, you can also apply a thin layer to your entire body before tanning as well. Just to make sure you're nice and moisturized. But I like to go over these areas once more just to make sure that the tanner looks nice and smooth on them. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my mitt and put that on. And for my calf, I usually do about a pump. It just varies from person to person, but you'll get used to it once you first start out and you'll see how much you will need for the application. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a pump, and that's about how much I'm going to use. And I start at the bottom and work my way up. And I just stroke the color on, and you can see it right where it's going. So that's really nice and I'm just going to do the front part of my calf and then when I have that nice and blended in I just gently sweep over the knee area using the excess to tan that. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab another pump for the back. And I just stroke upwards applying that where it goes. You can see where it goes and then I like to blend it in in circular motions. And then again using the excess and just gently sweeping over the knee. Then I go ahead and apply to my thigh and I grab about two pumps for that and I do the top. And I just go in circular motions with this, work, working my way around. And with the color guide you can certainly see where it's going. I'm 
going to grab a couple more to the back. kind of smooth it over all the areas and it dries quickly so it's really nice and there you can see the comparison of the two legs this one has the application and this one is without now I will show you how to apply it to your back using our famous Dave's back applicator for the back, what I like to do is use our Famous Dave's back applicator. The reason I love using this when I'm tanning my back is because it has an extender on it, extends to here, and then you're able to reach in the very center of your back. But if you're wanting to do your entire back, all you have to do is extend the handle and you can reach all the way down your entire back and it's really nice. So you would just put the mousse directly onto the pad and then you would just apply from there. So that is one simple way to get your back application done. Another option for applying tanner to your back is using our Famous Dave's Mitt. And what I like to do is apply the mousse directly to the mitt and then I work my way on the back of my neck and I work my way down. And then to get the very center part of my back, as you can see, my left hand can reach the center part. So what I do is I take the mitt and I put it on my left hand in reverse. So the mitt part where you would apply is on the back of your hand and then I just reach up and then I'm able to get the center part of my back and that is how I apply the mousse to that area. And then you can just go from there and do your shoulders with each hand, just switching your hand inside of the mitt and you'll have your full body back application. Next we'll apply to our neck and chest areas. So I'm going to grab about one pump from my tanner. For these areas and I'm going to start with my neck and I'm just going to rub that in in circular motions and go right up to my jawline with it and don't forget to do the back of your ears that skin there and then you want to gently just rub over your ears you definitely want to tan those areas as well and then I just go down from the jawline and draw a nice line there and I will be showing you how I tan my face as well. And I'm just going to gently go over my ears. But if you're planning on foregoing tanning your face, you just want to draw a nice even line underneath your chin. And then work your way down onto the chest area. I'm going to grab an additional pump onto my mitt and work that into the chest area. And I'm going to switch hands. And you'll know when to stop about when you start to feel the tanner soak in completely. And that should do it for the neck and chest. Next we'll do arms. Now for the arms, there are a few problem areas you might run into that are dry spots, at least for me. So what I like to do is use my barrier oil lotion in those areas, and that is in the front of the underarm right here and on the back side as well. I get dry skin there, and I like to just put the barrier lotion on there so it's a nice, smooth, even application. So I'm going to go ahead and grab just a little bit on my hand and put that right there, right in front of my underarm, and then on the back side as well. I'm going to do the other arm. And I will show you both arms in this video and then before I do the second application on my second arm I will compare the two with the color guide. And then you want to apply it to your elbows as well. Those are another dry area of the skin and then I like to apply it onto the inside of my elbow. So I'll go ahead and grab some of the lotion and apply right there directly onto the elbow and on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and grab my mitt and I'm going to grab about one pump and then I'm going to start from my shoulder and work my way down and I just go in circular motions. I'm 
really working the product in. Then I use any of the excess product and gently go over my elbow so I don't apply too much tanner to those areas. Then I'm going to grab another pump and I'm going to start on my upper arm again and then work my way down. I'm just going to brush that down and start to work it in. want to keep going in circular motions so you don't miss any areas. The color guide will come in handy for that because you'll see right where the tanner has gone. Okay. Should do it for that arm. I'll show you a comparison. So there is with the tanner and there is without. So you can see a nice difference in the color guide. So that's very helpful when applying. So that way you can check each area, make sure that you've gotten it all. And if you've missed anything, you know, that'll be where the color guide hasn't hit. And say you missed right here, you would just see that area and just rub some more of that tanner in. Before we get started with the hand, I also like to apply a barrier lotion as well, just because the hands can be dry and you don't want the tanner to seep into your knuckles or anything like that. And you will still get a nice tan even if you have the barrier lotion on. I also like to wear a glove during this part of the application, but this is optional. And you can also use your mitt to apply to your hand as well. I typically use a cosmetic wedge just so I can get a really nice precise application. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And then I'll show you at the end how I would use it with a glove. So I'm going to go ahead and get my barrier lotion onto my hand. I'm just gathering a little bit up and putting it onto the back of my hand and all the way across my fingers and everything like that into the knuckle areas because those areas can get really dark pigmentation and then that will be a sign that you've been self tanning. And then I get on the back of my wrist too because that's an area that can be dry and with the creases there um, I'll show you how to apply so that there's no white creases when you're finished. So I just apply that all over. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my cosmetic wedge and do about half a pump into it and then I'll start to apply like I did on my foot. I'll apply to the back part of my hand and then work my way from there. So there's the tanner. I'm just going to dab that on there and kind of go in a circular motion. And with this technique, you just have to judge how much tanner you've gotten onto your hand because with the sponge, obviously it's going to soak into it, but you'll still get the application. So I just do the back of my hand and then I go in again and I apply it to the back and then I start working my way from that onto my fingers. So I like to go in between the fingers as well. So in between the thumb and index finger, I get that area and then I do the thumb and then I kind of outline where my natural tan would go on my thumb and then I sweep it just gently across the finger and then I go over each individual finger and in between as well. And that's where the cosmetic sponge comes in handy because of the edges. You can just take those edges in between each finger. So I just gently sweep the excess product over those areas and they will still get nice and tanned. And then I run the cosmetic wedge across where it would naturally be tanned. Then I'm just going to grab a little bit to do my wrist. I'm going to dab that just at the, at the top and then work my way up. And then I bend and flex to get the tanner into those creases so there won't be any white wrinkles. And that is how I apply with the cosmetic wedge. Now if I were to apply with the mitt, I have my mitt right here, I would just flip it on and I would put just a pump onto the mitt and I would tap it into the top of my hand and then I would go in circular motions and then I would make a claw and I brush the tanner over each individual finger and you can kind of go up on your arm if you have any excess and then I would go in between each finger as well using my finger inside of the mitt then I would do my wrist and bend and flex and just do a nice outline of where my tan would naturally be 
And then if your fingers are manicured, I would suggest you take a wipe and you can wipe each nail so that your cuticle doesn't get any pigmentation on there. Or you can take the back of your cosmetic wedge and just kind of wipe away any tanner that may have gotten onto your nails. And that's how, how you apply to your hand. Lastly, we'll apply to our face. Okay, so I've cleaned my face and I'm going to apply a moisturizer to my face so that the tanner doesn't seek in too much and your face is nice and moisturized. So I just go all over those areas. And then I'm going to take the thicker barrier lotion and I'm going to apply that to my hairline and my eyebrows so that there's no darker pigmentation in those areas. So I'm going to take that thicker lotion and apply that right onto the eyebrow and then up into the hairline and I'm going to apply to one side of my face and not the other so you can see a comparison and I'm going to be using the mitt so I'm going to grab about half of a pump to do one part of my face and I like to start right at the jawline and go on upwards to circular motions to apply. Grab a little bit more. Then I use most of the product on my cheek and then use any excess on my nose. I'll go onto my forehead. And I just gently sweep that across. Then I gently sweep it across into my eyelid so there's no white circles. blend that in and you can blend up into the hairline since you have that barrier lotion there already okay there it is applied to half of my face and without so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side I'm going to go in circular upwards motions my forehead and smooth that over my nose and go across my eye and with any product you want to avoid getting it into the eye area and go right across there and then you can start to blend down into your neck and if you forgot to do your ears you can definitely do those now And that is a simple way to do your face using our Famous Days Mitt. If you choose to forego the mitt, you can definitely use your hands. What I like to do is keep my fingers nice and tightly closed. And then I'm going to go in circular motions as well, keeping the fingers closed because when you spread, that can cause streaking. So you would just go in circular motions, working your way from the outside and in, and just, you know, work the product into your skin and it will dry quickly so you will know when it's finished. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful when using our Famous Dave Small Batch Reserve Tanning Mousse. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials using some of our other Famous Dave's products as well.